Hey, Trail Kreitzer at Go Hunt. Uh, today I'm back in the office. I got another gear review for you. This is a brand new uh, stove that we have for 2021. A lot of guys were looking for stove options for single shelters. If you're a one man hunter uh, and you're looking for an option to carry a stove that's ultra lightweight, relatively easy still to put together, and you know it's gonna be able to keep you warm at night and then also dry out your clothes or any of your gear. Uh, this is a great little option. So like I said, this is brand new for 2021. This is the Seek Outside Cub U-turn stove. It's actually a pretty small little stove as you can see, not too big. Uh, it's not going to take up a bunch of room in your pack. Uh, dimensions, which is typically like one of the first questions that get asked about this U-turn cub stove. Internally, you've got six by six by nine. So six, six inches tall, six inches across, and then nine uh, inches of space there in the back. This is the U-turn version. So you can see that the actual body of the stove is one continual piece of uh, titanium as that wraps around the back. The stove is super simple to put together. Um, I was able to put it together by myself here about maybe five, six minutes is all that it took. Um, you've got the door here on the front, which is just an easy slide door. You can slide your sticks and twigs inside there. You also have an intake here, which you can slide back and forth to let more air or less air uh, in and out to kind of control the burn on that. So you have the brand new uh, dampener and spark arrestor, which is also new for 2021. They did a slight redesign on this whole setup. Uh, you can see the spark arrestor there internally. It just installs, slips in from the top, and it turns, as you can see. So if you get any creosote or any kind of junk built up in that, you just simply tip that open and dump that out. You also have the new uh, dampener slide, which just simply slides in this slot that they've cut. Works really, really nice and uh, really easy to regulate your rate of burn in these new uh, dampeners. So every stove is gonna come with one of those. You also get some rings here. They're gonna go with your stove pipe. So you can see the stove pipe here, one continuous sheet of titanium. Um, you've got it rolled up widthwise here. Essentially what you're gonna do is roll that out lengthwise and you're gonna roll it this way. Uh, you would end up installing your rings which are gonna keep that pipe together. Uh, once you burn this in, uh, it's going to take shape really easy. So you simply pull that out and it's going to roll into the shape that you need it to be. And like I said, you get five and a half foot of total uh, pipe length with this titanium uh, stove pipe here. Uh, dimensions as far as how is it going to fit in your backpack. So it comes in this little carrying case that you can see right here. Uh, the body of the stove completely fits within that. Uh, dimensions of that are going to be 10 and a quarter by 14 by about three quarters of an inch. So it's really slim. Total package weight on all of this is gonna be 15 ounces. So you're less than a pound, which is extremely lightweight. Another question that we get quite a bit is what is the burn time like with these little seek outside stoves? Um, obviously this one is smaller, uh, the cub version. It's supposed to be smaller because it's a super lightweight setup for a solo backpacker. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to fit as much uh, inside this, just given the dimensions that they're six by six by nine. What you want to do is, you know, get you some nice dense round pieces. If you carry a saw, it's a great little addition. If you are using this stove, cut those in lengths that are going to fit nicely inside that stove, and that's ultimately going to give you the best burn time. I would suggest in my seek outside, which is the uh, the large version of the stove, it's obviously a little bit bigger than this. I can typically get about maybe three to four hours if I get good fuel in that. And then, you know, in the middle of the night, you might wake up and have to stoke that thing again. One of my favorite things about these little seek outside stoves is the ability to dry your gear out. And then also first thing in the morning, stoke that fire up, get it going, get the inside of your shelter nice and warm before you have to get up and get dressed and go out into the cold and go hunting. So that's a great little uh, use of these sick outside stoves. But yeah, like I said, typically, you know, maybe three to four hours burn time, depending on fuel. Uh, one other thing I would just note before I finish out here, this is the brand new stovepipe storage container that is gonna come with your stovepipes. Uh, these are pretty nice. It just keeps your stovepipe protected in your pack. You're just gonna slide that in. It does come with a cap, which is nice. Uh, I know that in previous uh, years, my stovepipe gets dinged up a little bit as I've carried around my backpack, so that is a nice little addition. 
Uh, they do sell these little stovepipe carriers separate in the gear shop now, so if you want to pick up one of those, it's just a nice little option to store your stovepipe in your backpack to keep it from getting dented and dinged and, and beat up. So once again, if you're looking for a stove for your brand new Seek Outside Silex or a silver tip or uh, potentially even a little bug out, if you're a one-man backpack hunter, I would highly suggest you check out this little Seek Outside Cub U-Turn stove. Uh, if you have any questions about this stove or any of the stoves that we carry here in our gear shop, please drop me a comment below. I'd be happy to answer that for you. It's time to gear up. Um, you know, applications, we're all getting our applications in. The hunts are gonna be here before you know it. Now's the time to test out new gear and get you set up for the fall. Good luck.